Hey guys, Tyler for the Pillow Fort here, going over my Iroas, the God of Victory deck. Um, I know recently you may have heard that I, I play almost exclusively black. What I'm doing is going back to some of the old cards and uh, the old decks I made. And so this one I made and I haven't really touched in a while, really since like the Theros times. So uh, just kind of going over them, kind of looking back at how things used to be and reminiscing and we all get to share a moment together. Um, so of course planes. This is an EDH deck. I'm sure you guys have deduced that. So planes, mountains, uh, Boros Guild Gate. Uh, this one, Let Me Scry. I like doing that. Uh, and then this one also, Let Me Scry, which I like doing. Um, so this deck, really the basis for it is attack, 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 attack. So as Iroas does, as long as your devotion, you know, is seven, he is not a creature. He's a seven four for four mana and he's indestructible. Uh, creatures you control can't be blocked except by two or more creatures and prevent all damage that will be dealt to attacking creatures you control. So that's really all it is. Like, just consistent, constant attacking. And uh, so this deck won't be super crazy until we really get to uh, the creatures. But a, quarter, a quarter's shield, uh, just giving someone uh, a lot of defense, and it's a zero drop. Uh, it's good because people, when I attack, a bunch of people like to attack me. Um, just stuff to prevent when people attack me. Uh, I like to toss out some tokens in this deck as well. So uh, Midnight Hauntings, Cool Righteousness, once again, more defense. Uh, that's some removal. You'll see a couple more cards like that. Massive Raid, uh, once I do get my tokens and all my creatures out. Um, Miraculous Recovery, I really don't have anything that dies into the graveyard, so that's a really nice one for that. Um, weapon Surge, just to buff attacking more. Now Condemn and Banishing Stroke, they were great, but now with the new ruling, it's not that great. But, I mean, they're still in there just to get rid of people's, you know, trying to kill me. Uh, Lightning Helix, obviously great, dealing three damage, gaining... Uh, three life, Krenko's Command, still putting out little guys, uh, Traitorous Blood, uh, really fun to attack people with their own creatures as well as a bunch of other ones. And then Timely Reinforcements, a really nice uh, M12 card. Uh, if you have less life than an opponent, you gain six life. If you control fewer creatures than an opponent, put three 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens. And it's only three mana, so it's good to have there in desperate times. Uh, Winds of Wrath, and like I said, I didn't really touch this deck in a while. Um, this deck used to be more around uh, enchantments at one point, so this has to do with uh, destroy all creatures that are not enchanted. Um, it's just kind of hung out there. But speaking of enchanted creatures, Entangler, uh, enchanted creature can block any number of creatures. That's really for Iroas and a couple other creatures that have been destructible in this deck. Um, but especially Iroas because, like I said, I'm attacking with a bunch of creatures and then I can even, you know, hold one guy back and everybody tries to attack me but they get blocked by an indestructible. Uh, Bonds of Faith, just to subdue people or help out some of my humans. Pacifism, same thing. Uh, Griffin Guide, tossing out, you know, buffing somebody, tossing out more tokens. Once again, Murder Investigation, more tokens. Change of the Rocks. Definitely helps with subduing people. Uh, Curse of Stock Prey, I love that for this deck. Uh, whenever a creature deals combat damage to an enchanted player, put a 1 1 counter on that creature. When I really want to pick on someone, and uh, not only that, but buff you know, all my creatures, hopefully, if someone is unfortunate enough to lower their guard. Battle Mastery, one of the craziest, <laughs> one of the craziest cards, just 3 mana for giving a creature double strike. I love it, it's awesome. I wish I had more of them, but. Uh, I think this is my only one and it's in this deck for uh, attacking Oblivion Ring. Always good Gleam of Battle. Whenever a creature you control attacks, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Really, really helpful just to, to make people even more mad about all my attacking. Assemble the Legion. Uh, if you don't have, you know, if you're running a deck like this and you don't have this card, incredible. Legion's Initiative especially, um, while it's not... Alright, thank you guys. Uh, for sticking with us through that commercial break. Our battery ran out, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so jumping right back into it. Uh, Legion's Initiative, once again, not su super crazy, but it 
gives nice buffs and it helps with board wipes. Uh, and it always comforts me every time I pick it up because it's like, oh, easy to drop and it's very useful. Now we're getting into the creatures, Doom Traveler, giving me, um, you know, more bodies on the board, especially with the token. Uh, Corridon Yearling, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Vigilance Haste, I like them. Bomber Corpse, moving into Battalion territory with uh, Wojek Halbidididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididid
Uh, that obviously has been able to change games. Uh, Boros Battle Shifter. I just like imposing my will onto other people. Just that every time there's a combat phase, I can pick this guy attacks or blocks. That guy doesn't attack or block this turn. Uh, and that goes for all combat phases. Hero of Blade Hold. Love this card. Um, battle Crime. So when this creature attacks, each other attacking creature gets plus one to its attack until end of turn. Whenever a Hero of Blade Hold attacks, uh, put two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens on the battlefield tapped and attacking. So I really try and protect this one, try and enchant it, try and attack lower people just to build up my army really quick. And then the war leader herself here, um, whenever she attacks, uh, for the first time each turn untap all creatures you control, and after this phase there's an additional combat phase. So once again, just keeping with that and the fact that she has haste, I can really just like and try and turn the game over into my territory. So that was my uh, Iroas deck. Like I said, it's a lot about um, just straight attacking. I'm, I've I've strew, strayed away from that, not strewn away from that, I've strayed away from, you know, just kind of keeping one track mind decks, but this does have a lot of cool cards, it's got a lot of uh, fun ideas behind it, and, you know, I don't know, I like playing it. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, like I said, this is an older deck, I haven't really touched it in a while, uh, let me know, let me know if you like the deck, and uh, let me know if uh, you're having a good day, just that, tell me if you're having a good day. Um, oh. And another thing, uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff on our Instagram, so the Pillow Fort on Instagram, I've been making memes for MTG and doing uh, cosplay, um, what am I th cosplay features, so if you want to go over there and take a look, uh, show us some love over there too, and uh, like that, show us some love on this video, let me know what you guys think.